Well, there's another uh, demonstration we want to show you, and that's about this a new category we call the Windows Home Server. Uh, this, we uh, kicked off the idea uh, earlier this year. Uh, we've had uh, the product out in beta, been getting a really strong response to this, uh, and this will come out in the fall. Um, it's for backing up, it's for uh, accessing in a very simple way, and it's about uh, being not only simple, but unbelievably reliable because of the uh, way the underlying technology's been done. Uh, we've got a lot of new partners who are uh, helping us uh, with this. You can see their uh, logos on the screen there. I will also have a version of this home server SKU available to system builders. So people uh, who put together custom systems, even in uh, quite limited volumes, uh, this software capability is something that they'll be able to load onto it. It's important to note that this is a platform because you've got Windows capability uh, we're already seeing these partners and, and software companies build on to the functionality uh, that's there on the home server. What we've done is make sure that the built-in functionality is strong enough uh, that a multi-PC uh, household is going to find this uh, the simplest and the best way uh, to manage their information. And so to you, give you a quick look uh, at how this has come together, uh, let me ask uh, Stephen Leonard, uh, Senior Product Manager for Home Server, to come up and uh, give us a look. Great. Thanks, Bill. Welcome. Absolutely. OK, I'm going to start out my demonstration today with a bit of a quiz. So it's a yes, no quiz. Keep track of your answers. Number one, I back up all my home PCs every day. Number two, I can monitor the health of my network from one place. And number three, I'm able to remotely access my important files from any web browser. So if you answered yes to those questions, you're probably one of the 60,000 people that are participating in the Windows Home Server Beta program. If you answered no, then don't despair, because help is on the way. Windows Home Server was designed to help families with multiple PCs connect their digital experiences. It, it provides a familiar way for them to centralize all that content, to be able to access and share it with other people and other devices, and also, automatically protect all that stuff, your cherished memories. So Bill just announced some of our hardware partners. I am very pleased today to be demoing on the HP MediaSmart server. So the first thing you'll notice is this is small. Can you, can you believe the size of this? My mom said that good things come in small packages, and that's definitely the case with this Windows Home server. You'll also notice that there's not a monitor hooked up to it, or keyboard, or mouse. It's very simple to set up. When I come home, I do three things. I plug in my power cord, I plug in an ethernet cable, then I take a connector CD and I go to each one of my home PCs. That's gonna set up a couple things automatically for me. What it does is, it'll put a link on my desktop so that I can come in and I can access my favorite photos. Now the interesting thing is, everyone that has had the connector CD can now see these photos. This was loaded by my wife, and now I can go in and watch it. The other cool thing is, I can go into my living room, I can sit in the comfort of my couch and see this on my Xbox 360. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna show you what's called the Windows Home Server Console. The Windows Home Server Console is where I configure and I manage my system. You can see on my particular network here, I have three PCs. My PC, the kid's PC, and mom's PC. One of the great features of Windows Home Server is this. It's the ability to monitor the network. And it looks like I have a problem. There's a red icon and it's saying critical firewall. Well, I think I know what happened in this case. My son was loading a new game and I think he turned off the firewall. So, I'm going to correct that. Turning off the firewall in our house is a big no-no. And when I was a child, my parents would probably have sent me to my room and grounded me. But in the digital age, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do here is come in, and I'm going to deny Ben access to his music, but just, just for a little while. All right. I already came to this, and I want to talk a little bit more about backup. You can see here that uh, there's a very 
very powerful backup engine in Windows Home Server. Now, the real innovation comes in multi-PC backup. All of my PCs, the three that I've described here, are backing up automatically every day. We have a joke within the Windows Home Server team, and that is, if you lose a cherished photo, say your wedding photos, that could be a divorceable offense. Now, luckily, with my Windows Home Server, I can go in here, I can see a bunch of previous backups. I could actually restore a single file here. My wedding photos would come back to my, my PC as well as my marital bliss. Here's another scenario for you. Have you ever had your hard drive start to whine and sound a bit like a jet engine? Well, that's usually not a good sign. So what I can do is go to the store, buy a new hard drive, put it into my home PC, and I boot up my home PC with this Restore Wizard. Now the amazing thing is, my PC is going to be returned to exactly how it was the night before. I mean, everything. Operating system, application, settings, and of course, all my files. I, I think I hear a clap in the back there. I mean, that's a lifesaver. Windows Home Server also has the ability to grow with me. What I can do is buy some internal or external drives. In the case of this HP Media Smart Server, there's some trays here. I open it up, I put my disk drive in there, and close it up. It's automatically going to be added to my storage, uh, storage pool down here. The other cool thing is I can take those USB hard drives that I've purchased in the past, dust them off, plug them into the back, they will also be added to my storage pool. We've traveled great distances to be here. In this case, I'm going to travel about two steps, but it could signify 2,000 miles. And I'm on a new PC now. You've seen how I can centralize all my content when I'm at home. Well, with Windows Home Server, I can also access all that same stuff when I'm on the road. I get a free domain name from Windows Live when I buy a Windows Home Server. That's right. I said a free domain name. That will allow me to come in and access all the same stuff that I would have as if I was sitting at my own desk. And actually, what I can do here is also remote into some of my home PCs. I could give my parents a username and a secure password. They can log in and see the latest photos and videos of their grandchild from a link in their web browser. I've just had time to scratch the surface of the capabilities of the Windows Home Server today. There is a tremendous opportunity for hardware and software vendors. Bill's already made some announcements, and we're hoping that as a result of this, we'll see some more coming soon. It's a tremendous platform.